fell down because you tripped me You're the girl who's always laughing I have a really irrational obsession with uh, the people I date and it's not it's not a good obsession it's like wanting to know everything about their past so I'm sure that you guys are all very familiar with the questions hey uh <laughs> how many people did you sleep with uh when you know before for me what what were your ex-boyfriends like what were they <laughs> were they uh they weren't as they weren't as cool as me no no they, no way and uh well you know i i do ask the dumb questions but it's just it's hard not to now the I bring up social media almost every video now, and you guys are probably sick of it. I'm sorry. I just love to bring up all the topics I know a lot about, which is like two and a half. Um, and that, that isn't even one of them, actually. But the social media allows girls and everybody to post pictures of whatever they want. And we, dudes, what do we like? We like hot women. We like the pretty girls. We like you. We like the youthful girls with the with the nice skins and and the nice. There's already a demand for that. So if you're a girl and you're like half half attractive, half, not not even really. You post a picture of yourself and you notice that you're wanted by someone. I mean, it could be some neckbeard living in Iowa, but I, I don't know. It's there's always going to be somebody who wants you, and I don't feel we we dudes get that ever. We're so used to being ignored. Me. I'm ignored. Would you believe that? But the reason I have the jealousy is because I know I know this. I know that you can open your Instagram and just go find some chatty dude, ch talk him up, and well, there goes that relationship. Not saying it's going to happen, and it's not good to openly express that, but having the knowledge that it's possible just really fucks your psychology. And now I live in this like semi stage of paranoia where I'm trying to be the most attractive person possible, the alpha dude who has the money and the charisma and the whatever, man. Girls are the wanted. Men are the wanters. Girls are the pursued. Men are the pursuers. We're always like, we, like I, before I was, before I became more confident in myself, you know, you, you always saw that pretty girl and you were like, it's not me anymore, obviously, but I have I have the jealousy problem because I get insecure. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm not confident in myself. There, like that's I I I I know that there are like the the strong alpha YouTuber types who like just put on that very stoic face and like, well, I'm gonna talk to all of you men about men stuff, and you guys are gonna learn how to be attractive and in the upper quartile percentile of your... But I, like, like, it, it you, we do not comprehend how replaceable we really are now. Everybody knows about Tinder statistics, and I, I, I get it. Okay, a lot of you are gonna be like, Incel! So I tried, I tried this one time. One day I went on Google Images and I just, I, I got this really generic photograph of a woman and placed it on Tinder and tried to see what happened. And I, I didn't even have like Tinder gold or anything. Just, I let it be for about a day. And then 24 hours later, I swear to God, I was like at uh, at least 45 or 50 likes. And this is like really not, this wasn't the most attractive picture. I'm not going to be able to find it on the internet. But you, you think about that. And then yours truly, back in the day, when he would go on Tinder, you know, like, I don't know, I sh wish I shouldn't have, you know, I don't condone being on Tinder, don't do it. And I think like in a month, sometimes I'd get like five or ten likes. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too hard on the eyes. So, I'm, but all this anxiety, I think like, like we just got, we have to be okay with that we are replaceable. And if you think about things metaphorically, like men are just, we're, we're fallen creatures. We, we come out of the womb and there's no inherent value. Like we don't have like the ability to bear a child. I mean, all we do, we got our, we got our wang and then hopefully a very fruitful life where we do all sorts of, you know, good things. And, and as uh, some other dude puts it, put a, 
put a dent in the universe. I'm gonna put a dent in. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a black hole. Am I funny yet? Feeling kind of ADHD today, so that's why the, that's why the vibe's a little bit different. So sorry, everybody. Jealousy, I think, especially in the context of a relationship, is like you really want your girlfriend to be yours, like mine. Do not touch. It's mine. So like when, when philosophically I think about what's what yours actually is and we can get into like Marxism and capitalism and fucking property rights and ownership to thinking and I'm not smart enough for that. I'm, this is go watch like go watch some second thought if you want some really well spoken shit about nothing is really yours if you think about it because it's, I, when, I, when I'm thinking about something that is yours, it's like attached to me like this is this is definitely my hand. I would be worried if this wasn't my hand. Um, you know, I think if we think about Luke Skywalker when his hand was cut off, you know, that was Luke Skywalker's hand. Or it, you know, I, I'm, we're not going, we're not doing this. Anyway, if, if it's not attached to you, you can't, if it's not attached to you, you can't actually claim that it is yours. You want your girlfriend to be yours, but you can't like say that she is because she has, she's an autonomous human being and she can decide to sleep and talk to whoever she wants to. And if her interest in you somehow disappears with time, well, I mean, is that all, is that really your fault? I mean, it could be your fault if you're a, a complete dick or maybe you don't have something to, maybe you're just not an interesting person, but that's, that's where the anxiety comes from. It's like, the, it's like the lack of that certainty. It's like, you don't know if it's gonna change. You don't know if she's gonna, do, if she's gonna find somebody else who's better than you. And then anxiety obviously incentivizes you to be the best possible person that you can be. You see a lot more suicides with men who get divorced. It's not, a, it's not, it's not a funny topic. I'm gonna start with the funnies. I'm gonna actually, t I'm gonna be a little more earnest. We have this panic of what if she breaks up with me? What if she divorces me? What if I like lose everything? Because man, I can idealize the world with a girl. I mean, like we're gonna be together forever, and it's gonna be the best possible life that I could live. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get an apartment, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna shake some booty and have them kids and and watch those movies, but you know, like, that's not really guaranteed. And so, like, you're preparing yourself a little bit for disappointment, and if that ends up falling through, you're left with nothing. I mean, basically nihilism in a certain sense. And that is how people, I think, end their lives, because they've lost everything. And we need to be better at, like, understanding nothing's guaranteed at all. Tomorrow could be gone. Tomorrow I could be gone. Tomorrow I could I could disappear and never like never post a YouTube video again. I hope I I don't I hope not. You have to be able to think about this stuff. If you know if you can't if you can't think about breaking up with your girlfriend, if you can't think about how you might react if that happens, given that there is uh, that, that that is a possibility. It's not like it's guaranteed that you two are going to be holding hands until the grave, especially in these times. Like if you can't if you can't ponder the idea then you got a lot of thinking to do, man, because I'm worried about you. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Some people who are watching this video don't have girlfriends at all. And honest to God, you know, I'm not gonna lie. That shit, I'm a really loving man. Guy. All right, I just totally blacked out. I'm having a serious ADHD moment right now. It's definitely not due to the gay K-Con. I'm drinking. Mmm. That tastes like shit. Just remember, folks, you are the point of your own mental origin. You are your own point of mental... You are, a, you are your own mental point of origin. Only you can make yourself happy. You can change the react... I think so, there's some quote that goes like, When I was younger, I wanted to change the world. And then when I was in my middle age, I wanted to change my community. And in my old age, I can only change myself. And that's so true. There's only you. You can... There's your reaction to things that you can definitely change. Your reaction. The reaction to negative stimuli is partially in your control. And as long as you have that, as long as you know that you're badass, that you're, you're the cool guy, you're gonna be fine. Be cool. Be awesome. Be fantastic. Subarashi. That about does it for the video today, but like, yeah, just, just make sure that you aren't... I hope that your jealousy isn't eating you alive. It's eating me alive. And for those of you who are like, whoa, totally different vibe from Tristan today. I just got a lot of energy and I needed to get it out on the camera. All right. Well, that was Tantris Humble.
Say.